to Taco Bueno to get dinner tonight. This is Cinco de Mayo and uh, thought I'd get something special down there from them. <clears throat> now Roses across the street and down about a block is having some kind of special for the holiday and uh, the only thing about it, trying to get in there would be like trying to get into it the Super Bowl and no, no ticket. Uh, they're hanging out the windows every Tuesday down there for their Taco Tuesday. And Rose is right, uh, right across the curb from uh, uh, Raising Cane's. It's about the same distance away. Now I turn in right down here so, uh, I'm going to lay the camera down. Well, I'm going to get the street taco platters. They are uh, $4.99 each today. And I never had them before, but I'm going to get them now. Thank you for choosing when you're when you're ready, please. I want two street taco platters. Do you say two street taco platters? Yes. What kind of tacos? Uh, chicken on one of them and beef on the other. Okay, sir, you want the taco platters, regular taco platters, or the street taco platters? Street. The street taco platters? Yes. Okay, you say one with, with the... Carne asada and the other three with the chicken? Yes. Okay, you are talking about the street taco platter. What else for you? Well, I'm in and out of there and managed to get back out in the traffic stream here and uh, look down at Roses and it's a block from their driveway entrance to a traffic light and it's jammed all the way back to the traffic light and I don't know how far from that. And since they can't have the full inside seating and they're having to do the window pickup, uh, that place is an absolute zoo down there. Their Taco Bueno, there's only two vehicles in front of me and <clears throat> didn't have much of weight there. Getting back home, traffic has dropped off a little, but I hate to try to drive with one hand and to shoot with the other, as heavy as the traffic is. And here's a turn in for the village right down here. Here comes a big gap, so it's going to be easy. Use the fob and it's opening. We have a clicker here that we use to open and close the gate, or it can be done with a keypad. <clears throat> that way we can tell somebody the gate code, and, uh, or they can scroll down to us, call, and it'll call on the phone. And uh, while we're talking to, to them on the uh, speaker there, uh, we can press 9 and it'll open the gate for them.
Well, here we are back home, and I have the food in here, and got the check here, and with senior discount, tax, and everything, it came out to uh, $11.67, which is a pretty good price for the street tacos, which are uh, $2 a plate more than the regular tacos. Now uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, open it up here. Got some chips. And can't tell which one's which. Got one chicken and one beef. Three to one of the chicken. And oh, and we got salsa here, salsa picante, and got pico de gallo, my favorite. Well, Frida's already got a real fork over there. I'll let her keep that. Oh, and some more salsa. I've got to figure out which which is which. Stubborn to get into. Let me check this out and got a lime slice here. And this is carne asada. This is the steak. So let me get Frida's over there to her. Now, I went ahead and ordered the street tacos, which has more, more food and more and better quality, and this belongs to Frida, than the regular tacos. The uh, street tacos are a lot more food in them. <coughs> you doing okay there, hon? Yeah. Okay. These are chips. Yeah. Now these corn are on corn tortillas instead of flour. Uh, soft corn tortillas. Fettings back on there. Now that is a good taco. Do you have trouble over there? You want me to unwrap that yeah. for you? Yeah, I mean, foggy. I mean, it's hard to get out. There you go. Thank you. Get 
hook under it. There you go. Got it? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Get some of this Pico on my on mine here. How's the chicken? Good. some beans here, guacamole. This is well worth the extra dollar. I will leave with others. <clears throat> and it was on Taco Tuesday, which knocked a couple dollars off each meal. I looked down at the driveway in front of Roses and it was two lanes deep trying to get into that one drive, drive in there and stacked all the way back down to the main intersection. Guess we didn't get any napkins, was it? But we've got them here on the table. So, God bless America, God bless Texas, where else would you find anything like this? And by the way, I'm going to do a, a video on uh, the chuck wagon, uh, probably tomorrow, the next day, and uh, it has quite a history, and uh, its life was short, not the wagon, but the uh, need for it was only about 25 years. But it played a great part in the uh, cattle industry here in Texas. Bye.